Family farm that has been there for generations took a hard hit from that possible tornado during yesterday's storms. The Biggers family farm on Highway 55 near Clover lost trees, barns and thousands of turkeys. But tonight they are seeing the silver lining. No one was hurt. WBTV's Caroline Hicks spoke with the Biggers brothers as they pick up the pieces tonight. She joins us now live from the farm. Caroline, how are they doing tonight? Jamie, tonight the Biggers family is just thankful to be alive. They tell me the storm swept through the back of the farm, knocking off the roof of that barn. You can see debris everywhere. Heavy winds then ripped through that barn, completely destroying it. And tonight they say this is not the first storm they've been through, and they always come back stronger. About 1240, the tornado alarm went off, and I jumped up and went outside. And I could hear the rain or hail in the trees just making all kind of racket. Charles Biggers says within 30 seconds, the storm had come and gone. But before it did, he snapped this photo of a possible funnel cloud. I was expecting to see 10 gone off the roof and to maybe some tent off the walls, but not the houses totally destroyed. Several turkey barns hit, two destroyed. The cows didn't get, didn't get harmed in him. Say, look, we lost maybe a couple thousand turkeys out of 24,000. Trees down, debris everywhere. It's all hands on deck as the family cleans up what is left. You just gotta take it one day at a time. We've done the same thing back in 2010. He says when the last storm hit, their houses were damaged. Thankfully, this time, the house he took shelter in went unscathed. It's just the way it is. You got to move on, go on and live the next day. Nobody got hurt, so that's the main thing. He tells me they do not have insurance on those barns that got destroyed, but they say they're wanting to slow down business anyway, so they're just going to be consolidating uh, some of the things they have here on this farm. They also tell me tomorrow the National Weather Service will be out here surveying the damage. That's when they'll find out whether this was indeed a tornado. Reporting live in York County, Caroline Hicks, WBTV, on your side.